I'd like to congratulate USC on uh, being the national champions. Um, with an incredible game, uh, and their team obviously battled, and I uh, just wanted to congratulate them. I'm so proud of the way my, uh, my team uh, put together um, a great performance after going down uh, with an early goal. I, I thought we did a great job battling back, creating opportunities. Um, this, this sport is cool, and I thought we uh, created some great opportunities, but at the end of the day, we didn't finish, and USC did. Questions now for the student athletes first. Uh, this one goes to Ashley. Uh, Ashley, can you please tell me about the job you guys did uh, keeping pressure on? I mean, you know, I think uh, the game was played mostly on USC side of the field, meaning the goal they were defending in the first half, and you guys uh, kept putting your pressure on in the second half too. Yeah, I mean, they got that early goal, um, so we had to collect ourselves and um, really push forward. You know, not allowing them the space, and I think you know our front line did a good job from front to back, just forcing them in their half to kick long, and you know, trying to force those bad mistakes so we can you know potentially hurt them on the counter. So that was definitely our game plan going in, just applying that pressure and hopefully um, getting a goal on that transition. Ashley, congratulations on making the all tournament team. First of all, um, did that early goal you, you guys both talked about the early goal how much did that change the game and the reason i asked that you guys haven't given up multiple goals in a game all year in regulation usc hasn't scored more than one goal one time since halloween we expected zero zero on penalty kicks and winds up three one was it because of that early goal um well you know credit to our defense um and our entire team you know for the majority of the season we've we had like a shutout record so you know that speaks volumes of our defense how solid we are um i remember big 12 tournament against tcu we went down um two goals and we were able to you know come back and adapt so that was it was a huge wake up call for us but it was also good for us because um we hadn't really had that challenge and we were able to step up um this this game you know our plan was to go out and score early you know unfortunately they did it wasn't a part of the game plan but for us we're used to that adversity and we we're just ready to focus on our, our our game plan and just come back and score so you know it wasn't it was unfortunate and it wasn't what we wanted but they scored early and we just had to adapt um, but i don't think that was you know the reasoning for them to go for the overall score it just happened to be an early goal and we had to adjust to that additional questions for the student athletes Uh, in the first half, about 20 minutes in, you guys have started to find a lot of success on the left side. What was it on that side that you guys were able to exploit? Um, I think our team did a really good job at switching the point of attack. Um, we were actually getting a lot of su success on the right side with Bianca. Um, she was going down able to get crosses in, so I think they were getting used to that, um, the crosses and all that stuff. So once we were able to switch the point, all their numbers were pushed to the right side, which left us with low to space. And with myself, um, Heather and Amundsen coming through, we were able to overload them. And um, just all that pressure, we were able to get those crosses in, so that was really effective for us. You may continue to ask questions to the student athletes, but we'll extend now for questions to Coach Izzo Brown. Yes, sir. Ashley just talked about how the success you had setting up shots and, and getting some, some chances. What do you think of Sammy Joe and goal for them? Uh, obviously, she did her job tonight um, with us creating 21 shots, nine on goal, and, and nine corner kicks. You know, you gotta really uh, praise what she was able to do. Um, you know, like I said, I, I thought we uh, were incredible at moments uh, to create chances, and she did a great job uh, keeping uh, us to win. Other questions. Hi, Elliot Allman, San Jose Mercury News. Nikki, what, uh, if you can reflect now, I know it just ended, but what overall, what did USC do overall that really disrupted what you guys did? And as you just said, 21 shots, nine on target, it's kind of stunning. Obviously, uh, I, I think that 
we create a lot of chances, and unfortunately in this game, you know, it's about finishing. Ashley finished a, a, you know, a great goal for us. Um, credit to USC's defense for um, not and withstanding our pressure, but, you know, just sometimes the ball just doesn't go in the back of the net, and I thought that, um, you know, we should have had three or four, and credit to uh, Sammy and what she was able to do to, you know, keep the ball to the back of the net, but there was numerous uh, opportunities that I felt walking away, especially in the first half, and, and now where we, we should have finished uh, some chances. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that, and that's what makes this sport cool, uh, but lots of credit to Sammy. Other questions? Right. Um, this one's for Bianca. I know uh, defensively, uh, you guys have, uh, you know, you had 18 shutouts this season, and so uh, how, on a day like today, how difficult is it, especially given that it's the national championship game, to just um, to, to have it go this way after having such a strong defensive performance all year? Um, not gonna lie, it's gonna be uh, pretty disappointing because. Um, we haven't conceded a lot of goal this year. Uh, again, these games, you just have to learn from them. There's nothing we can do anymore. And I guess we can't just focus on one game today. We have to focus on our whole year and how proud we are of giving all those shutouts. So I'm just going to focus on our defense that we've done throughout the year instead of just this game. Other questions? Um, Harold Gutman with the Charleston Gazette. Now, Ashley, you guys gave up the first three shots of the game, and then you didn't allow another shot in the first half, and you guys had maybe the next 12 or 13. Did you just need, you know, this first 10 or 15 minutes to kind of get in the flow, or what do you think the reason for the slow start was? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the first few minutes of the game, you know, as a team, we're always trying to fill it out and see, you know, the rhythm of what the opposition is presenting. But for us, again, we're trying to come out and score early. You know, both teams, that's that's your goal. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, they did score. But it was just, again, how we were able to come back and collect ourselves um, and just, you know, continue on and win those next 10 minutes and get the momentum back on our side. So that was our game plan. Additional questions? Right. Uh, Coach Zobrin, and actually, any of you guys can answer this. This was, even though it came up short of the title, it was still the best season in school history. So, any final thoughts on, you know, just, you know, what you've accomplished this season and just, you know, the positives that you guys can take away? Um, there's been so many things that we've, uh, accomplishments that this team needs to celebrate and so many accomplishments that we've kind of put on a shelf to reflect on. Um, this game is huge. Everyone in this room knows uh, how big it was, but um, we're not going to allow this to define us. We're going to reflect on all the incredible accomplishments we've, we've accomplished so far and thus far, and uh, it's, it's going to be uh, tough to get over this one, but we will reflect and understand that a team that won 23 games has a whole lot to celebrate.